So, okay guys, hi, I'm Football Freak, back here with yet another episode of, another episode of NCAA 15 Dynasty Mode with Marshall University, so, um, yeah, um, really, first week, Miami University, so let's go. The first video was introducing my coach Alex Chapman replacing replacing Doc Holiday as replacing Doc Holiday as the coach. But here's Keem Cato, Tommy Schuler, and Jespers, Albright. Wood and Scott. Um, but if you want to know why I call it, if you didn't watch my last episode, I want to know why I call it this young boy. I got a. I got a roster that downloaded. And it's like it's the 2015. It's the uh, supposed to be 2015 game milestone. That right on top of you. Come out. These players will have to keep their focus, it, and these so fans will have them. a huge impact on the game. Mm -hmm. so you you want to be a player? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? So far, I don't want to make roster. I was a little surprised too, but hey, who cares? So here we go. And I'll be back to you. I'll be back with you. Ah, so yeah, just watch this and um so yeah. But leave down in the comments what other things you want me to do, but I kinda like these little short intros stuff like that, so here we go, John C. Edwards Stadium right here in Lyon University and Marshall Thundering Herd, so here we go here we go, I want ball first against the Miami University the Miami, Ohio University right there. Let's go. Let's see how these two teams play in this game um, as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And this season is officially let's underway. Go. Here's the kick return. Yeah, the so yeah, I am playing on my difficulty. You know, but I was in charge of the coaching this first game at Marshall. Run through the wall for him. There's a lot of emotion out there. There we go. Um, Wow. So here comes the offense taking the field so for the first time today. Cato out there. Kevin Brown's behind him. Ooh, Miss Reeves. So it's first to throw out his in Next time, though, we might work on the accuracy. So here we go, Cato. Second and on the side. Yard line. So here we go. Wilkins. Good time. Catch. And down he goes at the 45. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, so, yeah. and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Going right now. Oh. I was hoping I could get a different play, but uh, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. Yeah, you know, you know what's going to happen. The Kato stepping back to pass, misses this target. So Kato not on target today. 
so yeah, there are five minute quarters in this game. So, so um, um, if you want to lower the quarters or anything like that, just tell me. There was Devin Johnson, aka the Rock, down the sideline. If you haven't watched Marshall football this past year, he was made to run back. Now it is a spectacular season. So, yeah. Oh, Kevin Williams, why did you go back to that camp? He should have just let it drop. Wow, well, Kevin Williams. Just try to, try to make the play on the stage. He's obviously doing very well. There's. Eric Cranapple, Tommy Shield, and Johnson, the one eight Allen up there. Oh, 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 Devontae Allen. A quick eight yard reception. Kato, I've been a little scared about Kato today. Kato, come on, come on, come on. There's just Kato battling, but that's not Kato is hurt. Kato down, so our starting quarterback is down. So, yeah, we'll come back. So, yeah, we'll have to win this, but with the no good kick. And he missed it left. No good. Studio update. NC State puts the win over the Tech. And North Carolina State, they start the season with a victory. So, yeah, man. So let's see um, what the offense can do as they come out on the yeah, field. Yeah, we're crazy right there, but I'm sure it's back there. Wow. Well, you could go through it down the field right there. Crazy. Yeah, I thought he was definitely coming through the field. A big hit right there on Robert Williams. Wow. So a big hit on the on him. There it goes. Oh, he's not stopped Here's yet. Fourth and four level again. Third. With the reception. So we'll come back to you when we get the ball. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So we're back here. And Kato, of course, I think it's in our quarter five weeks. So Hoko is going to have to take over the team for these next couple weeks, get in his reps for next year. So Gunner Hoko is going to have to make some stuff happen. He went to the spring game, though, for this three up for the year. He looked really good. I actually liked what I saw from the Eric Fremont right there, too. So let's see what we can get with Kevin Williams. Gunner Holcorn, handoff to Kevin Williams. A juke and try and get the truck. Gains his way to the right the a 10-yard carry by Kevin Williams. Give them a first down. Lineman executed their blocks nicely in a week for a good game. So got a whole call. I do not expect to have another good season go now with him William Williams for these next couple of weeks. Um, nothing against Gunner Hulk Holcomb. But he's I just don't feel he is a look is a he's not a wrecking cable. He's just not that guy to lead the team. That just the guy that has the presence to lead the team. I just don't see that in got a whole crew. But next year 
I certainly will be looking to him to carry. He makes it as a maybe the 39 yard line. Of course, I will be looking to him to carry. Spend more time focusing on the two areas. You will be the one of the top guys I look for next year with Tommy Gunn. Right now, this offense is turning. It's Tommy Gunn. 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 It's I want to see people that I learned my lesson. Watch where you're running the ball. Wilkins, though. Oh, wow. Jay Nasty. Jay Nasty. Jay Nasty. Jay Nasty. Jay Nasty. So, second and ten. You know, the Tommy Schuler of Kirk. So, it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Booker, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. He was taking his injuries. Looks like he's going to get back. But Greaves drops like a gun on the whole pass. So, of course, everyone's going to be looking at that. Interesting decision here by the coach. They must have seen something in that last play. They don't have to go for the field goal. Of course, here we go. Gunner Holcomb, Drew Reeves gets one foot in, DeAndre Reeves for the first down. I'd love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really down. needs them to pick him up. The quarterback's performance on so third down is DeAndre vital in your team's success. Well, let's see if the third time can charge down for the red Over the sidelines is hurt. Oh! He was about to throw it in the end zone, hoping for a touchdown to Reeves. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play for him. The problem is, the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very good. That ball wasn't intercepted. A new quarterback in there trying to get your touchdowns if you're not going to protect him. And there was another attack. Yeah, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking his sacks. He's going to be very careful. He's going to be very careful. He's going to throw the ball. He's going to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play, the defense got you, just give up on that play. Give up on that play. Give up on that play. It's a 4-15. It's a 14-yard line. So, of course, they try to use Gunner's legs. But you can't do any more anything. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Yard field goal the gun is looking to go up by three. Gets the field goal Gets away. In. and he got it. So here we go. So we'll be back. Okay, guys. So a touchback for um, like to since our ball and now it's our ball. It's I mean their ball. Of course, it was. It was a pretty it was a touchback, but we are leading the game three nothing. I am ecstatic about that. Very happy about that. Both offenses trying to find their right now. We are low scoring and close right now. To go in the first. Thundering They're about four first with Miami University voting. Oh wow, I'm just at the team meeting. But Alex Welch, here we go. From Marshall University, here we go. So, it's a regular guy, here we go. Absolutely crazy. Wow, he, it looked like he was about to throw that toy. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to the playmaker. It's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Can't get too much. Stopped third and one. Marshall. We're going to have that down now. Just that down. Now 
they get Andrew Hendricks in the back. Four and two. Four and two. Nine. 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 Nine.
Marshall, Miami University. So a big hit, Alex Welch from the catch. So here we go, Gunner. So Gunner will come still at interception back in the back of his mind. And Ethan's trying to make up the point. Wow, Alex Welch. Gets out to around the 12. Quinwell gains around eight yards on the run. The Redhawks taking their first time out of the half. But Marshall Allen after that try to catch. Hurt and he's out for the game. And unfortunately, it looks like he could be sitting out the rest of this one. And they couldn't look up on that one. But he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Well, I think he came down with it. But from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. What? So they'll overturn the call and rule this so a they give it first and the goal, the but field, but they were I didn't really use it to talk that. Put down in the this comments. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Is it's that it's first down. Uh, they're looking for six it. points I, here. I, 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 Treadwell stepped out of bounds. He's got the bounds for the yard loss. At the 14. So Marshall facing one right now. He's tackled the So it's third and goal. One last chance to try to do something. A big tackle is fourth. And he's hit a down in goal. What's gonna happen? They're gonna kick a field goal. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the so field, goal. field goal. This goal is nothing more than a chip shot. Miami of Ohio is looking to tie things up. Let's get the call. False start on the offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even so a five yard setback can be damaged to a drop. Ready to go for this one still. Are you trying to get the yards back? It's up and it's good. Time. So we will be back. So we will be back, so we will be back later after the kickoff. So yeah, guys, back. We're down. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make 25. any mistakes that give the other guys a reason Gunner to feel more Cole. confident going into halftime. Still in his quarterback. I don't know why. He, for a while. Flag somewhere? No. Not quite no flag on him. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, yes. throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. We will be doing a very special marathon coming up. The ASI Marathon. So, um... This is what it will consist of. Pass, yeah, hard as he came down with it. The well, ASI Marathon. The there, ASI. The that play was going nowhere. The yeah, ASI Marathon. The defense here recognizing uh, pass and the episode of War City. An episode of of Navy Seal City. He just made and then an episode. 
and then and then a very special and that episode from New York City. Then the very special episode that everyone's been waiting for. In a very special vi- in a very special episode of a very special of a very special video of consisting of all three worlds from A from all three A S containing all those worlds that we just I know we're only in week one. This so season looks like in mid-season all you always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. What's gonna happen? He's level at the 33. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. So, just a couple seconds to go. Just a couple seconds to go here. You know? Maybe get a turnover or something. I'll just. I'll just. So, you nine seconds left. Rather than a table field, let's take the lead. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 29 yard line. Here we go, nine seconds left. I throw. Stop. He's looking for more. He's tackled in the open field. The Red Hawks using their third and See last pattern. It was a well designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Just to get him to so think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. Anti freeze skill activated. The field goal units out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three goals before halftime. Anti-freeze. Marshall will take their second time out of the right half. Here, so. Right about to kick it, and they call another Marshall's timeout, timeout, trying to make the kicker think about it. I don't think. He's, I think he may be thinking about this one. He looks Miami like he's thinking Ohio about it. Take Four the lead seconds. Field goal. Kick this. It's up. Kicks up. It's good to end the half. And it's good. So we'll be back with you in a second. Next.